Minister of Youth Development and National Service Foster Cummings says one of this country's oldest agricultural facilities is soon to undergo reconstruction. We uh, just went out to tender for the refurbishment of the Ekia facility. But those of you who have trained before in agriculture in this country would know that facility has been around for a long time. We are going to completely refurbish and remodel that facility to prepare our young people in the agricultural sector. We propose as well to construct a similar facility in Maruga. The minister noted regional food security is high on government's agenda. Because CARICOM as itself has determined that we want to reduce the food import bill within the region by 25% by next year. So all of us have a role to play in that. And in Trinidad and Tobago, the government has taken on that assignment very seriously. The Ministry of Agriculture has rolled out several incentive programs, including a grant of up to $100,000. The Youth Development Minister outlined the government's roadmap to achieving this regional goal. We will aim for 1,500 new youthful farmers by 2025. How are we going to do that? We have launched a youth agricultural homestead program. Homestead program, so far we have enrolled uh, 400 students. We just closed the application for the part-time program for another 200, which will take us to 600, and later this year we'll take in another 200 full time. Minister Cummings noted the Shade House and the Aquaculture Projects, which each train 100 persons annually, are two other programs educating young farmers. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.